Greetings everybody and welcome to a brand new series I'm making in No Man's Sky. I'm basically restarting the entire storyline from the very beginning and it's just something that I wanted to do in a while because even though I have completed everything that needs to be completed, I just feel like I'm taking things way too fast. All of the previous updates that have been introduced and especially the Atlas Rises update which just dropped by a few days ago is simply too much for me and it's not only going to be for me but for all of the people who have just gotten in back into the game or who are probably just hopping on the journey right now for the first time I think this is going to be a very good series for everybody who's going to start up a fresh new gameplay of No Man's Sky and there are so many changes compared to what this game was a year ago that I simply need to get into the story and into the journey for that matter from the very start so that is what I'm going to do right here as you can see this is a fresh new start and I'm actually digging this planet it looks pretty good and we're going to need to set some objectives over here because obviously not everything is gonna be set over here you're your own decision maker there is a journey ahead and it's up to you to make it so there are a few things here as you can see we have our spaceship which is pretty much damaged and of course we have this floating orb over here which uh says that we have an iteration two three i don't know what this number really means i think it's different every time but i might be wrong it's like, you know, it's like a system startup, so to speak, and let's set up some objectives. I think I'm gonna do that in every video, we're gonna set up a few objectives here and there, and first of all, we're going to need to repair the spaceship, which is going to require zinc, carrot sheets, which themselves will require iron, and we're also gonna need some plutonium, pretty much the same for our multi tool which is also going to need some iron so let's see what we find here unfortunately our scanner needs some carbon so I'm just gonna kill this tree real quick I don't think this drone really pays attention to our uh, activity <laughs> hopefully hopefully she won't mind that I'm destroying the environment so let's see we need the scanner right now and now that it's done, we have found quite a lot of plutonium. And one thing, maybe a lot of you already know this, but there is a cool little trick you can do in order to boost yourself a little bit further. Probably you've seen other people do it. It's rather simple and it just uses like three buttons. It's really simple to do and I'm gonna show you right now. So if you use Q, you normally use melee damage. But if you use Q in conjunction with spacebar, you're gonna jump in front and it's gonna bring you a little bit further. So this is very useful if you're planning to traverse by foot. It's gonna be extremely useful to do that. So you'll just have to get used to a little bit with the controls and everything. But otherwise, it's a rather very neat little thing that you can do. We're gonna just build these. And we need like four of them. I think we need like five more iron. So there you go. We're... Oh, this is not iron. <laughs> that one is actually iron. There you go. Exactly five, just as we needed. And now we can repair. Let's see. We can repair our launcher thrusters. And this is going to be useful. And we can put in some plutonium. And that means we can take off. But uh, it seems that our pulse engine also needs quite a lot of other things. So... In order to find Heridium, we can either scout manually or we could build a nice little signal booster. Luckily, it doesn't cost much to produce and we have plenty resources over here to pick from. I hope the drones don't mind me simply destroying the rocks. I don't think anybody misses rocks. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Officer. I, it wasn't me. Oh my god, there's two. Oh my god, there's two. Okay, dude, dude, okay, it's, it's fine. I'm gonna... I can't scan him, can I? Okay, I need to I need to repair my stuff in order to scan him. Um, he's still checking. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna build a signal scanner. So the plan after this is gonna be simple. We're just gonna go in space and hopefully um, find a nice little planet, maybe settle in. We're also going to find the mysteries behind the red orb that we have just seen. So there's quite a lot of stuff to do. Like, people don't really know what to do in the first... Um, hours of gameplay, but there's so much to do that you get so overwhelmed at some point It's gonna it's gonna be too much But as I've said we need a resource deposit and luckily the signal booster will give us just that will give us the coordinates hopefully to Heridium 
and I hope it's Heredium, honestly, because if it's not, it's gonna be a pain. Unfortunately, it's seven minutes away. So in the meantime, I'm going to repair everything that I have, like the visor, and I'm also going to have to repair this one, but I'm going to do it on the way, and on the way there, I'm also going to look out for zinc. So, let's go and do that. As you can see, there's also some platinum over here, so I'm not gonna say no to that. We're going to need... Basically, I'm going to have to stockpile a bit on all of the resources that I can get. And this is going to be especially useful later on because we're going to also do upgrades. More plutonium. I have never expected so much plutonium on a starting planet. Like, you can get really lucky in the very beginning and maybe, you know, get very good resources or you can have, like, the worst luck like I just have. And it just got depleted. So luckily we have quite a lot of plutonium. Because we can also mine it back. So it's not really not really a, lo a loss for us. But I also found some zinc. And if you remember correctly, we're gonna use it. We're gonna need it to repair our spaceship. And after that we're going to basically try to go up in the sky and see what's over there. I'm surprised how much plutonium there is on this planet, but I think I've stockpiled on enough. And I'm not, I'm not gonna need more of that. And I'm gonna show you now another trick that is really useful in if you have depleted your jetpack. Just go right against the wall and use your jetpack. It's not going to consume any of its energy. And from there on, just skip like this. And hopefully you're not gonna fall in some big cave and just die, break your legs and everything. There's our deposit. And luckily enough, it's exactly what we need. It's iridium, and we're gonna mine it. Because we need everything over there, and it's gonna be super useful. So, let's mine away. There you go, there's quite a lot of it here, so <laughs> plenty to take. And I will just need to wait for my thing to stop overheating. But luckily enough, there's so much here, it's gonna... It's gonna... It's gonna last us a lifetime, basically. So we have like 250 already, and I think we can even repair the ship. We just need the carrot sheets, and I think I think I'm gonna need more iron for that. Just a little bit more. Uh, I think the sentinels are gonna mind if I if I stay here for too long, so I'm gonna go back. I think that's enough. And on the way back, we're gonna scan a little bit more, see what we have missed, and we have pretty much got everything that we could. I could kill this sentinel right now. But I don't want to endanger myself because I'm pretty low on resources that regenerate my shield and my life support. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore them. But eventually I'm going to want to kill them at some point. I'm gonna have to fight them. I've also seen a manufacturing facility which is gonna be really useful later on. Wow, this is actually beautiful. This is actually a beautiful place. But there is our spaceship waiting for us, and I'm gonna need to mine. Oh god damn it, you again? <laughs> Why don't you leave me alone? Like, we are actually stocked up right now. We have everything that we need. A little bit more. I'm gonna keep these over here. And I think we're up. And now that we're done, let's move on. There you go. Ship is ready, system is functional, so we are ready to go into space. So let's seek answers among the stars. And there it is, Helka system, and this is my first discovery. This is beautiful, three planets, almost aligned. I wonder if you can get them to form an eclipse. So, we're gonna go to the space station, and we have an incoming signal actually, so... I'm going to actually have to go there, am I not? Let's just go there and see what we have. Maybe it's beautiful enough and we can set something up. We also have rocket launcher. We're actually more equipped than previously. It's just that the ship isn't really the greatest. It's a class C, we're gonna have to change it up as well. So plan for the future. We're gonna update, we're gonna upgrade and put in a hyperdrive over here. Something that we don't currently have, we have no technology. We're gonna have to upgrade our multi-tool. Which is going to need a way more powerful mining beam because it's currently slow and it overheats quite fast. There is an unusual signal beacon coming from here. I wonder what it is. Oh, there's just a tower over here. We're gonna land all nicely. This planet is actually interesting. This is like... 
This is actually really good. I'm actually surprised by how good these planets are. Maybe they don't look aesthetic like a lush planet would, but uh, what I'm liking is that they have quite many resources. The conflict is rather low, so you won't be bothered by its sentinels. And there's not much challenging. But we are going to move past all of this. What I do like is these knights. These knights look gorgeous. The black sky and everything. Where's, where's my ship? Oh, there it is. My beautiful spaceship that I'm going to probably have to replace at some point. We just need to go on the other planet, I think. Yeah, it was on the other planet. Which is... Is it a moon? Oh, no, it's a different planet. It's a nuclear planet. Well, this is gonna be interesting. But it has gold. It looks like a complete wasteland. Oh my god. Is that a is that a crashed freighter? I have never seen one before. Well, not like this actually. Oh, this is beautiful. I wish I could repair it, recondition it. And I'm actually surprised that this radioactive planet is not killing me. This is actually insane. I, I still hear engines going on. Things moving. I'm not sure. I think it's crashed like recently. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Okay, that is useful. We needed the hyperdrive so we can uh, <laughs> jump to other systems. What do we have here? We need the hyperdrive. In order to build the hyperdrive, we have plant. We don't have enough iridium, do we? But we need dynamic resonators. And it seems that for dynamic resonators, and all those ones cost quite a bit. So dynamic resonators, I like 30,000 units and we only have like 700. So we need to get a little bit more money. Luckily, we have enough money over here. Nanit clusters, okay. So we're gonna need to find a method to make money and uh, it's gonna be a little bit harder in the beginning to do that. And I'm gonna just spend my time doing that a little bit because we need quite a little bit more gold than we have. Luckily, there's a iridium deposit over there which we will need. We will need that indeed. So I'm just gonna scan these things. They give me some gold. I have no idea who's transferring money to me. Like, who could it be that they find my discovery so important that they would like give me money like this? Oh, this is like a monolith. We're gonna use this. Viking world for interloper. One of the first things you'll ever learn from Viking is the world interloper. Because they seem to just love that name. Or I don't know, maybe they just love calling me interloper. Oh my god, dude. R really, you need to chill. Dude! Oh my god, dude! Holy hell! Run, 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 run! I, have ne I did not have an idea he'd so powerful Jesus Christ dude he almost killed me wow that was almost not good <laughs> that was way too bad well I'm gonna mine in peace now that is actually super good but uh, that being man bear pig looking thing almost destroyed me at least I can what the hell, dude? He just freaking did that to me. Okay, I need to run to my ship. He apparently can do the same trick as I can. Holy Jesus Christ. I never expected that thing to come for me. Oh my god, dude. Get in, get in, get in. Just get in. We are not safe even on top of things. How is that even possible? And how is that even fair? Okay. It's okay. Is it safe now? Man Bear Pig is attacking me, dude. That is not okay, and he has friends over here, that's the problem, look at that thing. He's also volatile, and he's a freaking dinosaur! How can I fight dinosaurs? So I'm just gonna hide here, and I'm going to go ahead and upload my discoveries. I only have 2,000. 11,000 units, that is actually a lot. So it encourages you to discover things. For a radioactive planet, this is so lively. Oh, look at this beautiful view. This is this is gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> I thought he would attack me. And I'm a scrub who has no money. I hope I don't have to resort to uh, prostitution to get that amount of money. <laughs> that would suck. 
Okay, Mr. Dinosaur. Uh, I have a weapon and I am not afraid to use it. You you have one too? Oh my god, dude. He just kicked me in the butt and it just flew in like three, 300 meters. Maybe not 300, but still close to that. Jesus Christ. Okay, run. Run. Do I look behind? Okay, no. He he has given up on my... He has given up on, on going towards me, but there's another one. Oh, really? It's only you? You're not even worth it, dude. Okay, I'm out of this planet. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. It's full of creatures that want to kill me. There's nothing there. I hate it. Now, I'm gonna try to sell as much as I can. I'm not sure how much money I'm gonna get. Like, this is... Emerald is actually so expensive? I had no idea. Do I have enough gold for it? I think I have. I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to sacrifice the Viking Dagger and the Corvex Cube. And uh, I'm gonna have to sell that. I'm gonna have enough money for that, luckily. So let's just go. Let's just go to the base. Maybe some folks will help us with something. And tune in the nice music. Oh, this is actually super pretty. Oh, this is actually a beautiful explorer. Is it better than ours? But we don't have money anyway, so I'm just gonna sell him. I'm gonna sell him. Uh, it's slightly under undercut. I want to sell it a little bit more expensive than that. Just don't mind me, I'm just gonna sell my stuff. Yeah, they all buy it like very cheap. Thank you very much. Whatever, I'm gonna sell it like this. I, I just need my money. Ooh, Viking. Reputation increased. Okay, he gives me a better multi-tool? Oh my god. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is amazingly good. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna take it. These guys are amazing. What did I ever do to to receive such an honor, Captain... Uh, not Natame? Captain Natame? Wow, how kind of you. I just got myself the best multi-tool I could ever hope for. <laughs> I almost forgot the reason why we even came here. Which is... Where, where was it? Dynamic Resonator. There goes my paycheck. Whatever. Let's construct the hyperdrive. I could redeem my uh, pre-order bonus. But I want to do this from the fresh perspective. So, like... A good guy I am. I'm gonna build a hyperdrive on this spaceship. And that is actually quite good. But now we need to put fuel in the hyperdrive. So it means we'll need to craft antimatter. And let's find some of that antimatter. Okay, let's do another scan. Maybe the, the, the old <laughs> the old scanner isn't that trusty. It's you know it's rugged, it's old, it's rusty a bit. Oh, it's on that planet. On the windswept planet. Oh, my favorite planet from, from this solar system, actually. I hate the one that's only radioactive. Everything there tries to kill me. I don't like it. And there seems to be something interesting here. I think this is a manufacturing facility. I wonder how we will be able to break through it. <laughs> Maybe with my new gun. I hope it works, honestly. I only have a mining beam and, I mean, beam, and I know mining beams are not enough. Where was the entrance? I, I always, I am so bad with entrances. Oh, I don't need one. Uh, luckily, it's already opened. Someone made itself its way in. The device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. It deposits a sample of antimatter accompanied by a strange message. Let's read the message. You will find us when the time is right. Oh, okay, 16, 16, 16, oh my god. This is actually super interesting. We got the antimatter. Oh, we can already craft it? Oh, because we have a lot, of, a lot of tamium. So warp cell is already completed. See, that is why we have gathered all of these resources, because we could use them later on. So now that we are done here, we can teleport away. Or, you know, not teleport, travel. 
we're not actually teleporting. We're travelers, not teleporters. But, but, and that is a big but. Where do we go next? Do we find the path to the galactic core? I think we will. Let's see what the next system is all about. Four, no, three planets. Corvex dominating. I'm gonna go there. Sounds uh, inviting. Corvex are advanced alien species. They are basically those robot looking things. They're actually my favorites. I'm, I actually am debating between them and Gak. But I think Corvex are my favorite because they are so freaking awesome. So that pink jawbreaker there is a flourishing planet. Oh, that sounds interesting. I wonder how flourishing it is. If it's a beautiful, lushy planet, I'm gonna definitely, definitely set up a base over there. Looks like cotton candy, honestly. And there's this landing pod. And let's see what does this dude have over here. Dude, look, look how impressive my space multitool is. But I'm gonna take the blueprint. Blueprint, thank you very much. Whoever is leaving this trail has some design. Ooh, so everything is predestined. Okay. So we have just learned the re the recipe for antimatter. It needs electron, va vapor, and heridium. Well, we have heridium and zinc. That's why we stockpiled on zinc. We're also gonna need some heridium, but I've seen one. And we're gonna need suspension fluid. Well, you know, I have suspension fluid. And we're gonna actually settle up here. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's find a base. Habitable base. Do we have one? Look at it. It is actually quite close. It's near a lake. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the perfectly round lake. And my base is right here. So close to everything. And on the pink grass, no less. And I think I'm gonna settle up right around here. We need a base. We need a base on a beautiful system. If we find a better one, it's not gonna be a problem. But uh, at least we have a start. And I'm gonna claim it as my home planet. And there it is. Here's our merchant. A Corvax will need a lot of stuff to put in over here. Basically, we're gonna need people to manage it. We're gonna need scientists. We're gonna need, like, weapon specialists. Space specialists. And I don't even know what else we're gonna need. But this place is absolutely gorgeous. So, this is basically my home planet. And this is where we're going to put an end to the first episode of No Man's Sky Atlas Rises Update 1.3. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you had fun as much as I did and I will see you guys in the next episode.